Hey, what's going on tech fans? Welcome back once again to the channel where today we're gonna to be checking out the HB Envy 34 inch ultra wide QHD curved monitor. Now this monitor not only does all of your gaming stuff, it's excellent for business as well. It's a little pricey, but after we talk about all the features, you can make the decision and see if you think it's worth your cash at the end of the day. The HP NV features a 34 inch diagonal ultra wide QHD micro edge curved monitor. Now this thing's surrounded by 5 million pixels of definition on the screen, which is just incredible. The resolution and aspect ratio of this monitor is 21.9, which is 34% more screen real estate than a 16 by 9 QHD monitor. I have to tell you that sitting in front of the HP Envy is really a nice experience. With a resolution of 3440 by 1440 at 60 hertz using any video card and also featuring 100 hertz using the FreeSync connection, this monitor is really a nice thing to stare at for long hours without your eyes getting a bunch of fatigue. The design of the HP Envy is very nice as well. You guys can see that there's hardly any bezel whatsoever on the side. So putting three of these monitors together would be truly badass because there'd be hardly any real estate lost whatsoever. The response time of the HP Envy is six milliseconds from gray to gray. Now, as far as the brightness goes, it's 300 candelas per square meter, which is quite a lot. The contrast ratio is 3000 to one static and 5 million to one dynamic. If we're talking to people in your family and doing business and stuff like that where you want to interact actually on a more personal level, the HP Envy features a 720p integrated HD webcam and there's also dual microphones and an LED light as well. And for those of you folks who actually care about the environmental features of a monitor, the HP Envy features mercury-free LED backlighting, arsenic-free monitor glass, and a low-voltage halogen design to promote energy efficiency all around. Now the pixel pitch on the HP Envy, now this is how close the pixels are together on your monitor, is 0.232 millimeters, so it's very nice and dense. If you want to just talk about aesthetics, you guys have to admit that the Envy looks really nice, which is probably why they called it Envy, because if you're owning that thing, they're hoping that other people will envy you for owning that, you know, keeping up with the Joneses. But on that same thing, this monitor is actually pretty light as well. It only weighs 24.56 pounds, and that's including the stand. Now, if you take the stand off, you want to mount it a different way, it weighs about 16.89 pounds. Now, one of the things that I personally feel is a caveat about this monitor, other people may feel differently, is that you have a very limited amount of moving space with the monitor. Now, you can tilt it from minus five to plus 20 degrees, but you can't raise it up, you can't spin it around and get portrait or any of that type of stuff. So in that respect, it's kind of limited. It does, however, have a 178 viewing angle, so no matter where you're standing or looking at it, the monitor does look very clear. Now, one aspect of almost every monitor I've ever bought that had internal speakers was that those internal speakers were weak. They had no balls and just the sound on them was just like, eh, I'll use them. That's only going to be really cheap and not buy any speakers whatsoever. But if you want some actually really good sound, this aspect of this monitor is really nice. The Bang & Olufsen speakers that are inside of this sound very excellent. Music sounds really good. Gaming sounds really good. You probably wouldn't really need to buy any speakers at all with these because they actually do sound that well. They're designed in Denmark by a couple of dudes who have been around a long time doing audio, and I have to say out of all the monitors I've ever heard sound on, these are probably some of the best. Now checking out the front of the HP Envy, you guys can see it does look very nice. In the very center is the Envy logo, you guys can check it out, it looks really cool. Now that big strip that you see down there on the bottom, that's all part of the internal audio. Now on the right hand side, you see the Bang & Olufsen logo. Now below that, that's where all the menu controls are. You can scroll your way through all the different things and aspects of controlling the monitor on this side. And on the far left hand side, below that, you can see all the controls for the audio controls. This is how you control your volume and all that different stuff, and it's all very easy to use. For those of you wondering, hey, Elric, what comes in the box, bro? All right, well, check it out. You get the monitor, an AC power cord, external power adapter, an HDMI cable, a CD. It includes the user's guide, the warranty drivers, all that good stuff, a USB cable, a USB Type-C cable, display port cables, VESA mount bracket, and your standard Allen wrench in case you need it. On the back of the HP Envy, you have your power connection as well as the signal input connectors. Now, there's no more DVI-D. It's just a single HDMI and display port. And one thing nice about the HP Envy is it actually has a USB hub that features a USB Type-C connection. I won't take for granted that all of my users out there know what FreeSync technology is. I'm sure most of the hardcore gamers do, but for those out there who don't know what it is, the FreeSync connection is when you have the FreeSync monitor and you also match it with a proper AMD card. What this does is it allows you to get a 100 hertz refresh rate and takes away all the screen tearing and ripping so that you have nothing but a flicker-free, great gaming experience. 
As far as our gaming experience went, we played a little bit of GTA 5. This game just fun. Go around and kick ass all over the place. And even though we didn't have a free sync connection, we got a steady 60 frames per second across the board and everything just looked really crispy. It's dark blacks, nice bright colors, everything that you'd want in a gaming monitor. And as far as warranties go, the HP Envy comes with a one year limited warranty. All right, tech fans, so there you guys have it. The specs, the looks, everything about the HP Envy 34 inch curved cool monitor, right? Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Now, another caveat you guys are gonna say right off the bat is this monitor is $900. I know that most of my viewers out there, they know that FreeSync technology can come into market, especially you know on a 25 inch monitor, you can get them for like almost 150 bucks for a 27 around 200. So spending $900 for most people is going to be a pretty hard thing. But think about this. Last year, they had a lot of those G-Sync monitors out, the Predators and all those monitors. They were $1,300 and $1,400 for the same type of technology. I mean, let's just face it. The picture on this thing is very very, very dense. I talked about that in the specs. So everything is really crystal clear. Even though it's not a 4K monitor, it's only 3440 by 1440. Still, that's a huge aspect ratio. When I'm sitting in front of it, I feel completely immersed in the monitor. If I would have had an AMD system in here, it would have actually even been a better experience because I could have set up that freezing stuff and had that 100 hertz, which would have been much better for my old eyes. You know, unfortunately though, I don't have that, but it's in another room. So those people out there who do business stuff as well, with the security stuff with the camera, that's pretty cool if you're like doing stock and stuff like that that's a really cool type of thing so if you're a person who does a lot of gaming but you also do a lot of business I think that you'll really appreciate that monitor the only thing I really wish more about the monitor is I wish that it had more you know availability to tilt move up and stuff like that I prefer that that's actually one thing that I like about my predator monitors I can spin it do whatever the hell I want with it you know uh, the overclocking features and stuff are a little bit better on that one but also we're talking about a big price difference and you know the difference between you know a g-sync monitor and a free sync monitor so if you're looking for something that's oh the ultimate 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 the speakers are really good now the only thing with the microphone and stuff is if you're playing a game with all that noise coming out using the microphone on the monitor is just not going to work because you're, you're going to be fighting decibels on on every side so if you still want to do gaming and be able to like be able to hear yourself clearly and stuff you probably would be better off wearing headphones but if you're not doing any you know, of that talking stuff or playing those games that require that, listening to music and playing games is a very nice experience. Like I said, the speakers inside this are probably some of the nicest I've ever heard. Way better than I've ever heard from any of the Predator monitors or anything out there in a long time. So I'm Elric. You guys have been watching Tech of Tomorrow. I always want to hear your guys' opinions. So down below that like button, you guys can click on that thing and give me your opinions and tell me what you think. I know at the end of the day, most of my gamer guys are going to go, wow, dude, that's a lot of cash. But technology that's always on the bleeding edge and like i said man that that very thin bezel around the edge that thing's pretty killer so if you put three of those together do the adjustments there really shouldn't be any loss in a surround type you know situation if i could get a hold of three of these believe me i would because that would be one awesome freaking experience but for now hey all the information will be down below the like button you guys know what to do i'm elric check out the channel if you're not subscribed hey subscribe and you can see more stuff all the time i'm elric buddy the dog g behind the camera peace out